Parkasaurus, the dinosaur game where you put the dinosaurs in the exhibits and you give them hats. I have not touched this game since the last series I did on it, which was, I don't even know how many years ago it was, but I pretty much left it at, you know what, the game's early access, I guess to be playing it again. Well, the game just came out of early access, so let's play it again. Back when I played it, there wasn't a campaign. Pretty sure there wasn't. I think there was only Sandbox. So, you know what? Let's play the campaign and see what happens. First thing we have is the tutorial. Well, I guess we should probably learn how to play the video game. Okay, space dinosaurs flying a rocket directly into Earth. He crashes it because guess what? He probably couldn't reach the controls with his tiny little arms. They're all like, what the hell? <laughs> and there you go. That's the story. Quest, welcome. Commander Ollie here. It's nice to meet you, human Ollie. We've met. I've done this before. I mean, we've talked before, but, you know, it's been a while. I get you might not remember me. What would your first dinosaur park? Not my first one. It's my second one. I'll be looking into ways we can enhance the well-being of our dinosaur friends. This looks like a big, empty area to set up our dinosaur park. There's quite a lot of garbage around, but every great dinosaur park has to start somewhere. But first things first, navigating around the park is easy and important. Let's give it a try. I don't know how much of this tutorial I'm going to bother keeping in the video, because, you know, it's... It's the tutorial, it's basic stuff, so I might cut all this out. Who knows? Okay, panning the camera, easy. Zooming in out, easy. Rotate the camera, easy. Boom! I'm so good at the video game. Quest, your first exhibit. Science Officer Luca reporting for duty. It's almost time for you to meet your first dinosaur. I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in this atmosphere. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Commander Ali said we should set up an exhibit first. You know what's interesting? The dinosaurs crash landed. They were flying a spaceship. They crashed it into Earth. And now we're building exhibits for the dinosaurs. For the, so people can see. It's weird. It's like the dinosaurs are free doing their own thing. And they crash and now they're stuck in zoos. We're sticking them in zoos. Or maybe they're ancient dinosaurs. And we're finding dinosaur friends that used to live on this place. See, I remember you have to dig for fossils. So maybe that's part of it. I don't know the lore of the game. So far, maybe we'll figure it out by the end. Exhibits are where your dinos live. You design exhibits to match your dinos' needs and increase dino happiness. For now, let's create a simple exhibit for your first dino. Select the wooden fence to build the exhibit. Okie dokie. Uh, wooden fence, wooden fence, wooden fence. Oh, I have to remember where everything is. I thought there was a way I could, like, make a box. Or am I just imagining that? I'm assuming I'm just imagining that because I'm not seeing anything. Anything that says anything like that. We did it. We beat the game. I have to place the door. Boop. I'm pretty sure I did this in the first playthrough of the game, but that was many years ago, so it's probably good that I'm getting a refresher here. Pax here. I piloted the crashed ship into your planet. <laughs> good job, Pax. You suck at flying. Your money is very shiny. We should really be collecting as much of the stuff as possible. I invented a way to collect these coins bins called donation boxes. I'm pretty sure somebody's already come up with that, Pax, but you know what? We'll give you credit for it. You seem a little bit special. Boom. Donation box. Hard to rotate. Go team. Let's get your first dinosaur. This is very exciting for everyone involved. Stegosaurus or Triceratops? Triceratops. So they're just going to give me the egg. Got it. And boop. Nice. I think we're winning. I think we're doing a real good job. Town is a great place to buy food, accessories for your dinos, or get loans. You can visit town anytime during the day, even at nighttime. Town. I wonder what they've added to the town. Let's find out. Vegetables, meat, eggs, hats, bank. Gems. Okay. It's all the same, I think. The bank never existed. I, I think it was there, but you couldn't do anything with it? I'm pretty sure of it. Vegetables. We're gonna need food, meats, insects. Okay, insects didn't exist before. Eggs. Yep, you get gems. You have to create eggs. Oh, I should have actually read that. Hats. Pumpkin hat. How much money do I have? How much money do I have? Where's my money? We're buying it. <laughs> Nothing like spending your money on something you probably don't need. Alright, we're adding that to our daily. $30 a day for plants. Grass, bushes, tree leaves. Okay. 
There are zero dinosaurs of this size in your- Okay, so the small dinosaurs eat grass, medium eat bushes, and then big ones eat trees. I don't understand what this is. This is medium quality food for dinosaur vegetarians. Food is placed near feeder. Okay, so these are high quality and that's just medium. So I think they all eat that. Okay, cool. Kale them with kindness. Oh, do they still want me to do stuff here? Hello? Oh, I have to buy six plants? Waste of money. Just wait till the next day. It's not like we have dinosaurs anyway. Okay, that's how I get back to my uh, zoo. There we go. There are many different types of dino feeders. Upgrading and researching new dino feeders give various bonuses to your dinos. Your new dino is a vegetarian, so let's get the vegetarian feeder. Okie dokie. Boom. It's literally a bucket filled with vegetables. We should probably hire someone to take care of this, shouldn't we? Caring for your dino best friends is a lot of work. Employees are a great help by doing many of the tasks in the park. Veterinarians are primary caregivers for your dino dinos. Let's hire veterinarians. Okay. Resumes. Who do we want? Mm. What's your name? Sikon. Your stuff's kind of bad. What about you? Relatch VI. Relatch VI. Also, that's the sixth. That's Relatch the sixth. That's a lot of generations. Kalach. I don't know where they came up with these names. Kalach the sixth. Gear. Corvus. Hmm. Okay, we don't want the first two. I think we might go gear. Person that, nah, he sucks. I guess we'll get Corvus. I mean, Corvus is also level one, but out of all of them, Corvus is the least disappointing. You're hired. What the hell? Work ethic. Employees automatically find tasks to do in the park. You can assign tasks of your place. Oh, okay. Neat. Watch the vet fill the feeder. Go, Corvus, go. Good job, Corvus. You made me proud. Hatch egg. Boom! Baby's first dino. Actually, baby's like second dino. Actually, no. I had a lot of dinos in the past, so I have no idea what number this one is. The exhibit plane is a great tool to inspect the type of biome and biome diversity in your exhibit. Every dino species has a peculiar biome they prefer to live in. You can create a biome in your exhibit by first placing base tile, then morph the biome by modifying the wetness of the terrain and the terrain. Yes! I remember. So we have to click the exhibit pane. Boom. Grass tiles to fill the exhibit. Because Triceratops need, I have no idea. They're telling me grass. I don't know where I see, I forget where I see that on the... Here it is, tile grass. Okay, there it is. Grass. Whoop. Boom, it's a forest. Add one your exhibit to morph from forest to rainforest biome. Okay, so now we need a rainforest biome. Biome. Right, right. So we have to go here. Got it. Where on earth is that? It's here. Water tool. Bloop. Blop, 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 blop. And that's how you do a rainforest, everybody. You just, you dig a pond, and next thing you know, you have rainforest. That's how it's done. We did it. There you go. Easy. Every biome has ideal ratio of trees to bushes to rocks. This ratio is called the exhibit biodiversity and contributes to your dinosaur's exhibit score. Trees, bushes, rocks can only live in peculiar, peculiar? Trees, bushes, and rocks can only live in particular biomes. Note that the trees and bushes often need to be near water sources. Got it. I mean, we're technically rainforest, so why would we need any trees? I love how we're putting pine trees in a rainforest. Makes sense to me. How many of these do we need? That's not changing at all. A good, a good tree for forest, rainforest, and taiga. If you insist. How many of these do you have to place? Appeal. Zola. How, oh, that's a big tree. Boom. Well, that's <laughs> that did it. Freaking loves it. Oh, we need bushes now. Get a 
couple of those, slam them in the corner. Daffodil. We did it! All right, now we have to add rocks. Oh, right, down here, geez. I was gonna say, how do they know exactly how many I have? Or how many I need? How do I rotate? R? Yes. Okay. So we just need like two more. Perfect! The best rainforest. That just screams rainforest to me. Open for business. Time to open the park so guests can visit. You can close your park any point. Just remember to give donations. Or just remember, guests give donations and buy tickets. Thank you, Pax. So open the park. It's the end of the day, so the park's closed anyway. It doesn't matter. Open park! Boom! Confetti! We did it. Even more help! A janitor is a key member of your park staff. A janitor can repair fences, pick up garbage, empty toilets, and more. A janitor automatically does tasks around the park, such as picking up garbage. Okie dokie. To the thingy. Alright, who do we want to hire for this? What even is your name? He de treem head to treem? Juns? Colon. Her name is Colon. Colon. We're not hiring you. You freaking butthole. Even though you have the best personality and ability, but I think we're gonna hire Juns. He actually does look like a janitor, so you're hired. Alright, now we have to watch him clean garbage. That's part of this? Where'd all this garbage come from? We're literally selling nothing. That's gotta be part of the tutorial. Alright. Can I... I can destroy the trash. Good thing I didn't do that, because I probably would have failed. Wow! I completely forgot about that. Alright, we're just gonna feed him to our dinosaur. Damn, I can't. I tried. I did try. This has been a lot of park training. Let's have guests arrive to the park to make some money. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Yay! Yay! The sound effects are pretty great in this game, not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna times three speed this because, uh... Oh, we need freaking two more, damn it. Oh, never mind. We got it anyway, apparently. Ah! Nothing has ever gone wrong in a dinosaur park, especially movies about dinosaur parks. Trust me. Just in case, how about we give our security some practice in case one of the... one of your dinosaur best friends decides to adventure outside of their exhibits. End of the day review. Charts. At the end of the day, it's a good time to look at all aspects of your park. Hearts are rewarded at the end of the day for every dinosaur that's happy or super happy. Right, because you use those hearts to unlock stuff. It's like a different type of research. Okay, cool. Okay, we have to hire security, so we're not going to look at that much. This is just a tutorial, so it doesn't matter at all. Um, security is going to be under resumes. I'm learning! Security. Gina the Fourth. Rend it. Oh, you want to know why that one guy looked like a janitor? Because they literally all look like janitors, because that's, they're wearing janitor clothing. That's hilarious. Speed 5. Ooh. Cha Corin. He Deco. I think we're going to go with her. A speed 5, ability 3. You're hired. Nice. Good. Okay, now we have to tranquilize the freaking dinosaur. Um, how do I do that? There it is. Wait, no, I don't want to give medicine. Request tranquilization. Get him! Oh, you're going down, Zola. You're going down. <laughs> really? <laughs> you're laughing at that. Okay. All right, pick up the dinosaur. We did it. I have to release the dinosaur back into the exhibit. It's a very big cage for a very tiny dino. 
Easy! We're flying through this. Let's explore the world of science. Science credits are used in the science tree to unlock useful upgrades and items for your park. The most common way to generate science credits is to have scientists work at a science building or a science presentation. Science building, let's go. All right, let's put this here. You know, let's put it here. No, let's put it here. No, let's put it here. Okay. Generate science points, blah, 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 blah. Pick up your scientist, use the thingy, put them on the thingy. Okay, hold on. I gotta build a path first, I think. Because uh, I kind of put it in a dumb spot. Good. Scientist. You. Barrage. Learn as. Herrick. I think I like learn, learn, learn as. Lur, learn as. You're hired, learn as. You and your crazy colored hair. Alright. Where the hell are you? Does that man have a pumpkin head? Oh, that's our scientist. Why do you have a hard hat? You're a scientist, not a, not a miner. That's a miner's helmet. What are you wearing, you freak? Start researching. Generate 20 signs today. Well, there's an easy way to do that. We just sit back and let it happen. Easy. Time to expand the park with more dinosaur best friends. Use the portal to go dig up skulls and footprints to be used in the egg store. That's it. That's what I remember doing. Let's go. Are we taking everyone with us? Those are a lot of different patterns. It's free. Let's do it. Uh, what are we looking for? No, that's right. Okay, I'm stupid. Don't listen to me. I'm stupid. Um, there's different types under each of these things. Duh. Dig depth shallow. Okay, so you can dig deeper for more money. Or you can automatically dig too. We're not going to automatically dig. Are you kidding me? We're doing it ourselves. Select a time period below the portal to determine what dino parts to dig. Okay, I know this. It's like Tetris, but better. Oh, we have to wait for this, don't we? Yeah. Okay, the clowns finally arrived. Here we go. Dig. So we need to find footprints. I completely forget how I did this. I had a system in which I would do things, and I forget what that system was. Hmm. Okay, there's two things there. Two things there. Or one thing there. Okay, you have one left. All right, me. I can do the cleanup. We'll grab that one. Um, you have three. We'll get two there. Park's closing. Who cares? We're on an expedition. We'll grab that one. See, I'm trying to trying to use our stuff smart here. Okay, skip summer. We don't need to see it. Boom. Excuse me, I was busy! Alright. Um, we'll hit that one, hit that one. Clean those up. Look at that. There's one item left here. So my guess is it's right here. Easy. Easy. I still remember. Too easy. Okay, so now we gotta go to town. We gotta go to the egg store. And with that knowledge, we can get a new Triceratops. Or is this the Triceratops we already have and I probably should have gone with something else? Oh, I'm so dumb. We're we creating, yes, we're creating another Triceratops. Because this is how you get eggs. I'm just thinking this is how you unlock new dinosaurs. Which it is after you research them. I'm dumb. I'm real dumb. This is why I'm doing the tutorial. Because I'm dumb. Very dumb. Okay, we're good now. Remember the science credits. What are they good for? Let me tell you. Science credits are used to unlock science technology, such as new buildings, upgrades, and perks. Go to the science tree and unlock science technology. Science tree. What do we want? Sous chef? Horticulture? Amateur? No, we want uncommon gem, definitely. Easy. Super easy. Park professional. Well, I've taught you everything I know about being a good dinosaur park manager. There's much more to explore, but you're on your own to gaining park fame and becoming a great park manager. 
Thank you, Wally. So I just need to have people join the park and I need to earn money. We can literally just sit here times three speed this. We'll drop our ego in. Boop. Sadly, we can't give the pumpkin hat to the dino yet because they're too young. Sad day. Very sad day. We did it! Tutorial complete! Look how happy that freaking star is! Oh my god! Wow. Go me! I'm proud of me. World map, we're out of here. Boom. First episode done with the tutorial. We now unlock the next area. We need to get... Oh my god, look at all these rockets we can earn. So we can either go to... Toronto? Oh my god, it's the world! <laughs> I just realized, here's Canada, and America, and South America, and Africa, and Europe, and Russia, and... Australia, wow, so accurate. South Pole, North Pole, Greenland. So there's a few places we can go. Toronto, the city of Toronto has hired us to transform their famous canals to more dinosaur friend. Is Toronto famous for its canals? Because I don't think Toronto was the one that's famous for their canals. Maybe, but that's not what I know of from Toronto. When I hear Toronto, I think of maple leaves. We can go to Abandoned. We have found an abandoned dinosaur farm. The world is horrified. <laughs> Help create a dinosaur sanctu sanctuary. Is that how you spell sanctuary? No, there's a C in sanctuary. Sanctuary for our friends. We go to energy. A friend is trying to create a dinosaur park, but his guests have no energy to reach the exhibit. Or tropical islands. These islands have been donated to you by a secretive group of people. Their only requ request is to help build a dinosaur home. So, leave a comment on which one I should do, and that's the one I, I'll pick, because I'm gonna end this one here. Tutorial's out of the way, we know how to play the game. The series begins right now. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed, that helped a lot. Subscribe if you wanna see more, and I'll see you next time.